Alrighty. How we doing, lads? When are they gonna add it? It's rumoured for the 11th, but they recently took down the website, so... I don't think that's gonna be right. That's like two days, that's literally one day away without them having any kind of prior warning. In-game anyway. So the entire website was linked, leaked randomly. But we have the entire cards leaked, so... Might as well look at the box while we've got, got the info. Alright, we'll just wait a little bit to see if anyone um, else wants to join before we uh, go through them all. As per normal, I think we'll start from bottom and go to through to top. I've looked through some of the cards, but I haven't really read through them all because I wanted to do this little review thing. Give my honest opinion on some of the cards. Tristans are fun as fuck. I have no idea about them. All I noticed when I was looking through all the um, Dual Links Meta's Discord to see what cars people are looking at to be like OP and stuff, most of them didn't like the look of Christons, so... I don't know, I have to look through them. G'day Nathan. I don't know what to think about this box. It seems like a deck deck builder's nightmare due to how many water monsters are in it. Feels like I'm going to be picking between so many different good cards to try and build a deck out of. Like, are we going to be using sea stealth attack with any of this? Or are we going to just stick the whales in? Are we going to ignore them completely? I don't know. They like triumphs or battle face synchros? Okay, okay. Let's give it three more minutes to see if any more people want to join from the notification. You sound like you have something spicy on your mind. Um, I have something spicy on my mind for the, um, <clears throat> what's it called, the uh, Sartorius event. Very excited about that one. I get to play some, uh, some pretty fun cards that I tend to like quite a lot. Then I'll talk about that after I've uploaded the video tomorrow, because I don't really want to give away potential ideas to uh, any YouTubers in the chat trying to steal me, steal me content. As for this box though, I have no idea how to build this deck. It's going to be so AIDS, because there's so many different water monsters to choose from. Why do you have to make Alien Ammonite a main box ultra rare? Alien's supposed to be a budget deck? I was actually thinking that. I was really kind of like... That was pretty sus they took something that was meant to be a budget deck and made it one of the more... expensive ones, although I don't really know, like, if there's only one ultra rare and it's probably still pretty budget. But I haven't gone through the cards, so I don't even know what the aliens do yet. I just know there's an alien ultra rare. Alright, give it one more minute. Are you smoking EMU crack? Not quite, bud. Not quite. Oh shit, uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use that picture so much now, okay? I don't even have the alerts fucking showing over the top of this, do I? Put that there. Show it. Nope. About now. Our alert should actually show up now, I think. Alright, 20 more seconds we'll start. Wait to a flat 5 minutes, that kind of makes sense. Uh, thank you for the sub, Lewis. Alright, let's go through it all, boys. Alright, we'll start off from bottom and go to top, so all the exciting stuff is left to last. Alright. Oh my god, I wish we could use the actual website. Hey, just hovering over cards. 
Alright, Underworld Egg Clutch. When a face up fish, sea serpent, ragtime monster you control is banished, add one level 4 lost sea serpent, ragtime monster in your deck to your hand. Uh. Okay, seems pretty bad. I don't think, unless we happen to be running banishing stuff in this box, I don't think that's any good, really. Yeah, we just. I don't like that card. I don't know. It's probably going to be hard to uh, value cards like this until I've actually seen the rest of the box. I don't know unless we have any particular banishing effects, whether or not a search like this is useful. Oh, we already own that card. I think that one's in Jaw Links too. Not sure if this one's in Jaw Links yet. Sure Knight. Once per turn, when the battle position of this face-up card on the field is changed, send one model monster from your deck to the graveyard. Surely we have better searches than that. I don't know why we'd want to send cards to the graveyard. We just use like Neos or something instead. Alright, Alien Kid. We've already got that in Jaw Links. Subsurface Stage Divers. If you control exactly three non token monsters with the same name and no other monsters, you can add three monsters with the same name as each other from your deck to your hand. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot normal summon or set or special summon monsters with the added monster's name, nor activate the monster's effect. What the fuck is this card? What? So this is for the, the is this for the frog stuff? The death frog things? I, I'm, I have no idea. I know there's some like death frog things somewhere in this box, but. Alright, I think we'll have to wait on this one, because I have no idea what the use of this card is. I assume it's for the frogs, right? <laughs> Subsurface with Cyber Star can get three of any monster. Clever, clever. That's mostly for the frogs? Yeah, okay. So wait for the frogs to talk more about that. O Fish. When the fake monster's effect activates, shuffle one of your banished fish monster C7 times into the main deck, negate the activation, destroy it. Oh, so there is a bunch of so there must be some fish getting banished since this card but does the same kind of thing needs a banish effect for it. I still don't think it'll get play though. We don't generally run negate effects currently anyway. I don't know. Don't think it'll get play, especially since it's only for a monster effect. Interdimensional warp. Select a monster you control and a monster with an A counter your opponent control. Switch control of those monsters. Interesting. Hmm. This card has has a little bit of potential. At least it's a normal card, so it's very, fairly free to play. Trade one of your normal alien monsters for one of your opponent's big boss monsters sounds pretty cool. Generally you have to do this during your opponent's turn though. So you'd have to have the um alien trap set, right? Or the alien quick play spell set. I know, sounds like fun. Not sure, they can at least make some meme decks out of this where you just give your opponent shit. Alien budget creature swap, exactly. Alright, Abyss Scorn. Target one memo monster you control, it gains 1000 attack until the end phase. When this set card is sent to the graveyard, target one monster you opponent control, send that target to the graveyard. So it's a send effect, which is better than normal. But, yeah, this is probably not going to get play because it basically requires your opponent to remove it. Oh wait. When this set card is sent to the graveyard, target once your opponent control is sent to the graveyard. You don't even have to run this in Mermail, you can just run it in a, just a normal deck, right? Well, that sounds interesting. So whenever it is just sent to the graveyard, it has to be set though first. You know, this is like Storm or something. Just seems like a better version of a... What's it? Wild Tornado or something? The trap card thing? It's just like a better version of that. You destroy it, send it to the graveyard, gets rid of your opponent's shit. I don't know. Seems right. Take your opponent's Lava Golem? Uh, yes. Criston Entity. Alright, so the first Criston card. Special summon two Criston Tuners. From your hand and one from your graveyard. During either player's turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and type one crystal monster to control. Send one crystal monster from your deck to the graveyard whose level is different from that monster. 
and if you do, that monster becomes the level of the monster sent to the graveyard. Jesus Christ, that is a wall of text. Uh, Alright, let me try and get my head around this card first, because that is a massive wall of text. So you have to have one in your graveyard first. Alright, I have no idea if this card's going to be useful or not. It's actually too much use uses to it to know whether or not it's going to be uh, useful. It seems kind of... If you can get crystal monsters in the graveyard, it has a use. It seems pretty useless until you actually have your stuff going. I, know, I guess it just seems we have to see how uh, stacked the crystal deck is first before we know whether or not this card will get play. It doesn't seem too OP. It's doesn't seem that good at all, really. You can probably turbo out the Criston stuff without having to worry about this card afterwards. This card almost seems like you use it to recycle your Criston stuff. I don't know. You do need them in the grave? It's a mid-game card? Yes, yeah, so it's something you don't want at the start, obviously. You want to actually use your turbo ring out first. Get out your synchros first. And we'll see. I don't, I don't, I'm really hard to evaluate that card. I'm more interested in evaluating the monsters than their, um, yeah, their support cards. Alright. I don't actually think we have this one. Abyss Scale of the Kraken. Equip only to a monster against 400 attack. When a monster's effect that was activated on your opponent's side of the field resolves, negate the effect, then send this card to the graveyard. So just like all the Abyss things, they don't seem that good purely because you can't choose which effect to negate. It's probably a little bit stronger for monsters because you only get one normal song in a turn. But generally, not even that useful. Plus, it doesn't even destroy the card you negate, right? It just negates the monster effect. Doesn't seem all that useful. I don't think you'd use that over the other ones. You prefer to run out the um, trap negator, right? Alright, let's go to the next one. Crystallic Potential. All Crystallic monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, during the end phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of Crystal Synchro monsters you Synchro Summon this turn. I don't think you'll be using this at all. You prefer to just have the. Because you, you want to be drawing cards to get to the Synchro, like the tuners and stuff. To synchro summon, you don't really want to be drawing cards after you've synchro summoned already. You've kind of already got your stuff out, right? I don't know. This seems pretty bad. Plus, three hundred attack seems pretty useless. Memos to feel too bricky to run their equips. I'm gonna make a meta with Cyber Dragon. I think there's uh, some people, 100% oh, people are going to be at least trying Cyber Dragon. There's been too much hype for it for too long, regardless of if it's good or not. Alright, here's some exciting cards. Sentinel of the Seas, wow. A Mermin Warrior that relentlessly attacks those who pollute the seas with their presence. There you go, boys. Stop your pollution. Go green. Alright, next. Bolt Penguin. Jesus, some exciting cards now. 1,000 attack. Oh, flying penguin. Is it literally a penguin set? What the fuck? Okay. Another gem knight card. That's another default one though. I don't know if whether or not we need any more gem knights. They seem pretty consistent right now. Right, Lapis Dragon. If this card's added from your deck to your hand, you can reveal this card, special summon it, if this card is added from your graveyard to your hand by a card effect, you can fill this card, special summon this card, but better shit when it leaves the field. You can only use Lapis Dragon's effect. Um, you can use one per turn, and only once that turn. Interesting. Also, it's a tuner, so you want to add this to your hand using one of your water monsters' effect, and it special summons itself, right? Then you have an extra level 5 tuner on the board. 
Interesting. So we'll see later on in this box what cards actually add monsters to your hand like this. Sea Serpent cards, but this seems like it could actually have some potential if there's some specific synchro you can go into by adding this to your hand with another card. Interesting. This card actually could be useful. Could be nuts. Uh, <laughs> it was all humankind. Yes. There is a penguin deck with no penguin. It can get annoying. Alright. Level 5 tuner? Do we, don't we have a card that can discard anything to summon a high level tuner? I don't think we particularly need that though. It special summons itself. You just have to add it from your deck to your hand. Alright. White Stingray. You can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one water monster. You can only special summon White Stingray once per turn this way. If this card is special summoned from your graveyard, you can treat it as a tuner this turn. Um, do the mermails have an effect where when they're discarded by a water monster? Is that how they work, some of them? I don't quite remember. Oh, they have to be sent. They probably have to be sent, right? Any discarding counts as that. If it does. Yeah, it would, right? So this card works with some of the mermails, I think. Not sure it will fit into a deck properly though, because I don't think you particularly need. There's other there's much better ways to discard it, right? Discard water monsters from your hand. I mean it is a special summon though. Maybe I just have to see what tuners we've got first before we go through whether or not we actually need cards like this. What mermails like to be discarded. Fog frogs versus penguin meta. Exactly. Alright, this one. White Moray. During the turn, you can normal summon this card, it can attack your opponent directly. If this card is better summoned from the graveyard, treat it as a tuner this turn. So this will just give you a level 2 tuner at some point. You can probably just run a level 2 tuner over this though, there's probably more in the box, but... I don't think you'll be using this one. Because it's literally only going to be useful if it's in the graveyard already. Although, this card does discard it to the graveyard. <laughs> Alright. If your opponent controls no monsters, you can have summon this card from your hand. So basically only useful on turn one. Not gonna see play at all. I don't know why you'd use a card that you can't use as summoned during when your opponent has nothing. It's not even a tuner. It's literally just the machine. Okay. If this card is used as synchro a synchro material monster, all the material monsters must be a fish type. Uh so this is a level four tuner? It's I don't know about that one. I feel like we've had better cards already than that. Unless we unless we specifically need a level 4 water tuna fish thing. I don't know. <laughs> tuna fish. Yeah, you eat there. The, the water support in this box is too good to be true. There's a lot of water support. It's going to be real hard to make a deck out of. Dark level 1, maybe light and dark. Good call. Beaver warrior. Alright. Majestic Mech Gorio. I actually had this card IRL at some point, because I remember the card art. You contribute someone this, just a fun fact. You contribute someone, but not set this card with one tribute. If summoned this way, during the end phase, send it to the graveyard. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict pissing damage to your opponent. So just a load of crap, unless there's some random support that goes with this majestic shit. Otherwise that is a load of crap. Next. DD Guide. When this card is normal summoned, give control of it to your opponent. During each of your each player's end phase, your opponent selects one card from their from the graveyard of this card's controller and raise it from play. Um, so the only use of this is just to give it to your opponent because it's 1,400 attack, but otherwise, it seems real shit. I don't know if there's any reason you want to give your opponent 1,400 attack. There it is. 
So you think Momos can bounce back? Hell yeah. Momos will be sick. If anything, they'll just be part of the um water deck for a um engine type thing rather than their own actual deck. But they could probably make their own deck out of it. Dark Horse is the poor man's penguins. Why does Pegasus have any tune penguins? Good call. Alright, Fishborg Doctor. If this card is in your graveyard and all monsters you control are Fishborg monsters, so Fishborg is its own archetype, okay. You can special summon this card, and if you do, banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use the effect of Fishborg Doctor once a turn. If you control a monster that is not a Fishborg monster, destroy this card. This is, okay, so this is just some kind of. Again, it's a level 4 monster that can special summon itself, I guess for synchro summoning. There's definitely better ways to do it though, you wouldn't want to use this. I don't think, unless there's some kind of reason you need specifically fish borgs. If this card is in your- oh, sorry, fish borg archer. If this card is in your graveyard, you can control no monsters during either of your- No monsters during either of your main phases, you can discard one water monster, special summon this card from your graveyard, but destroy all monsters you control at the beginning of this turn's battle phase, except for water monsters. So another monster that can be special summoned from your graveyard. But you have to have no monster on the board to do it. Is level 3 tuner though? Interesting. Again, there's probably better ways to use it other than this card itself. I don't know, maybe. Might see play. If you have like some kind of, this has been plenty of cards that discard cards from your hand, right? So if you have any of our normal fish monsters or water monsters that discard something from my hand. But you have to have no monsters for it to be, you have to control no monsters for this card to activate and most mermails like need to be on the board to use the discard effects, right? Hmm, I don't like this card. I don't like that you have to have nothing on the board to use it at first. Since most of your discard effects will be from monsters in the fish deck, I think. Use it after Black Rose, could do. Is this Delta Tap gonna make a comeback after all this water support? Maybe. Very hard to tell. Just really depends on what cards fit into the box um what cards can actually fit into each of the decks, considering there are so much water support now, it's gonna be hard to try and uh condense it all into one deck. It just depends on if Sea Stealth Attack actually can make the cut. There's a good chance it will. But if you're running Sea Stealth Attack, you have to run whales and shit as well. If you're trying, okay, Junk Giant. If your opponent controls a level 5 or higher monster, you can spell summon this card from your hand. A synchro summon using this card as material cannot be negated. No one really runs negate effects right now. If a player synchro summons using this card as material, other players cannot activate cards or effect when that monster is synchro summoned. So it can't really be floodgated or canadied, that's about it really. And it's level oh it's level six. Okay. I don't know about that one. I've d I have i have not really got much experience with junks, so I don't know what the uh, junk if the junk archetype needs this card, I have no clue. Alright. Uh it doesn't limit summons for only water monsters. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'm glad I went hard in the Guy Genesis box. Gonna be a pain to get the Ultra Rares though. Cause now I'm trying to dip me in the pockets again. I dip into my pockets again. I'd rather use Wilder unless you specifically need a water tuner. Yeah, that's what, kind of my thoughts to it. Alright. Here comes the first of the toads. Trade Toad. Once per turn, you can tribute one Aqua Monster to select one Frog Monster in your graveyard, except Frog the Jam. Special summon that monster from your graveyard. This is sounds so confusing to me because I thought the frogs were basically just like an engine. It's, is frogs actually their own deck? <laughs> like with these toads and shit? I have no idea. God, this sounds like an absolute meme to play. Can't wait to at least try the frogs out. Yeah, hard to evaluate this card till I've gone through the other frogs though. Well, level one, it's not even a tuner. Okay. Or is it a tuner? It's not. Nimble Angler. 
If this card is sent from the feet, from your from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon the two level three or lower nimble monsters from your deck, except Nimble Angler. Okay, so I guess the other nimble is this boy here. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, you special summon any number of nimble manta from your deck. So it just they just summon it. It just summons itself. You just want to summon lots of mantas. Why? All right, I guess this. This seems like the free to play stuff that you're really going to use. I don't, okay, I don't really see the point in those cards. Note Penguin, alright, someone in chat said something about this. During either player's turn, when an effect of a penguin monster is activated, special summon this card from your graveyard. You can only use the effect of Note Penguin once per turn. If a card would be returned from the field to the hand by the effect of a penguin card, banish it instead. Okay, so I guess you just want to. So I assume there's going to be a bunch of penguins that send your opponent's stuff to their hand, right? And this thing will just banish them instead? I don't know. I love his name though. No penguin. Or no penguin. Frogs have totally awesome... which isn't in Duel Links yet? Oh, okay, okay. Nimble Mounter is broken, summons three monsters. I don't know about that. I think there's definitely better ways to do it. Plus, you can only run three Nimble Manta in your deck, right? So as soon as you get this and send it to the graveyard, you can only special summon two. I don't know. We're going to the next one. Oh, here's another penguin. Guard penguin. We take damage from a card effect, except during the damage step. We don't really take damage from card effects currently. You can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, gain life points equal to the damage you took. Alright, so not going to see a play unless we actually have some reason to, uh... Alright, so this card will only see play if there comes a meta where your opponent is doing damage to you from card effects. Like if, um, Gem Knights became absurdly popular, then you can just use this as a hand trap. Otherwise, I don't see a reason to use it. But it is a good hand trap if we end up in a meta like that. But I think we actually have a hand trap that does the same thing already. The Great Emperor Penguin. You can tribute this card, summon up to two penguin monsters from your deck, except the Great Emperor Penguin. But it's a level 5. So you have to somehow get this card out, just to get out two penguins from your deck. I guess it is a good searcher for two penguins though, if there's a specific penguin combo you want. I don't know about that one. Maybe. These penguins seem pretty lackluster so far. Yeah, Survive Gem Knight Meta, seems like bad, really. So the Strive Dragons, we'll get to that, calm down. Yeah, take that Lava Golem. Yeah, you show that Lava Golem, beat it up with a fucking Penguin. Warlock of the Ice Barrier. Oh, so Ice Barriers are back. While you control another face up, Ice Barrier monster, both players must set cards before activating them and cannot activate them the turn until the next. them until the next turn. Both players must set spell cards. So that's more of a downside to you as well, since Ice Barriers have like one decent spell card. But I guess you can just use their effect and then play the monster. I know about that one. Depends really how strong Ice Barriers are. I don't think they'll be using this though. The deck already seems pretty uh stacked. I don't know. I think the main issue with the Ice Barriers isn't their monsters already, it's more their uh, lack of decent support cards to go with their monsters, so I don't think we really need more monsters like this. Doesn't really do anything other than like, I guess it's really good against things like Red Eyes maybe? They can't use their fusions? I don't know. Yeah, Red, Red Eyes fusion, seems about, that's about it really. That and like Neo's fusions and shit, seems about it. Alright, Geomancer of the Ice Barrier. Discard one card and declare one attribute. This card cannot be selected as an attack target by monsters with that attribute. This effect can be used once while this card is face up on the field. I mean, it can be an annoying card. It reminds me a bit of that um, Destiny Hero card that just can't be attacked by things that have more than such and such attack. Generally, it's just going to be an annoying card, right? I don't think it will see play, because it have any use besides just being goddamn annoying. I guess it's a tuner, so you can just put it on the board as a tuner. 
A lot of dates do only one one attribute though, so I guess it could be really, really fucking annoying. I'd prefer to just run a special summon tuner though over just having this thing still on the board for a turn. Alright, Legendary Atlantean Tridon. You can tribute this card and one Sea Serpent Monster. Special summon one Poseidra the Atlantean Dragon from your hand or deck. Then almost to control, lose 300 attack. What? What is... Alright, so I assume we're going to come across Poseidra. Alright, so so far that could be a pretty good card if Poseidra's good. Hey, we're, oh, so it must be further up in the box. Alright, we'll wait till we come across that. That could be a pretty cool card if the if its boss monster's cool. Alright, Mermail, Abyss, Skull... Alright, whatever that says. You can target one Mermail monster you control, special summon any number of level 4 or lower Mermail monsters from your deck. His combined levels are less than or equal to the level of that monster. Okay. Then send that monster to the graveyard. You can't use the effect of Mermail Abyss once per turn. Um, so this could be some kind of interesting synchro card. I don't think you'll see play though, because you have to have like, already have a big Mermail monster on the board for its effect to be useful, and then wouldn't you just want to use the big Mermail monster? So I don't think you'd use this card. It is a level 3 though, and there seems to be an ongoing theme of these low level 3 monsters for Sea Serpent, so that might make it a better card, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like another decider. Mermail wants Nemesis. Front end combos with a certain archer as well. Okay. Alright. Mermail Abyssdied. When this card is added from your deck or graveyard to your hand by a card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. You must control Mermail Monster to activate and resolve this effect. When this card is special summoned by the effect of Mermail Monster, you can target one level 3 or lower Mermail Monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. Alright, so this card does seem pretty good for Mermails, right? Because there's plenty to add Mermails to your, from your deck to your hand. And it's from deck it's from deck or graveyard to your hand, it special summons it. So it's an easy level 3. Good chance this sees play, good chance. So that's actually not a bad effect at all, just like a free special summon. Which also has a free special summon of a monster on its effect as well. And a lot of Mermails have discard effects, so you discard something. Free special summon. So good chance this sees play, good chance. Very good for synchro stuff. You can banish this card from your gra- oh sorry, Mermail Abyss Manda. You can banish this card from your graveyard to activate one of these effects. Increase the level of all Mermail monsters you control by one. Increase the level of all Mermail monsters you control by two. I don't think you're going to be using this at all. I think you're just going to run the specific amount needed for synchro summoning as opposed to having the chance that this is in your graveyard. That just seems like bad. What the hell? Alright. Criston Prasid, whatever that says. You can target one face up card you control. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except machine type monsters. Are Criston's machines? My retarded? I just didn't notice that. Okay. Special summon one Criston Tuna from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Wait, what? what? Does this card just special summons a random crystal from your deck? You can type one face up card to control, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck to turn you. Uh, okay. Also destroyed that card. So it destroys one card you control. Okay. And if you do special summon a Christian tuner from your deck, okay, so you destroy something to special summon a tuner from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon a Christian monster from your hand. Very hard to rate this card, it seems pretty bad. I don't know. Seems pretty good? 
Does it? You have to just you have to have a monster on the board already. Destroy that monster to get a tuner out. I don't know, I think I'd prefer to just run special summoning tuners, so I can just special summon a tuner anyway. Maybe it's better because of how Crystons work though, I don't know. Because you have to destroy one of your own cards, I don't know. Seems odd. Seems very odd. Didn't read any of the card. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to read the cards before the review. Then you get my like live reaction, you know. Yeah, that doesn't seem too good. Maybe I'm just dumb. It'll probably still be played in Crystons if it's like a core card, though. I don't know what the rest of the Crystons are. Crystal and Ryan. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, why are these all walls of text, by the way? So they do like noble knights. You can target one of your banished non-tuner monsters. Special summon it. But it has its effects negated, if any. And if you do, immediately after this card's effect resolve, synchro summon one machine type synchro monster using only that monster and this card. This is a quick effect. These synchro materials are shuffled into the deck instead of being sent to the graveyard. Alright, so if there's some kind of crystal thing that banishes stuff, this could work pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of that weird larval card that um, synchro summons, that you use to synchro summon using one of your banished monsters. So it could see play, because it reminds me a lot of that card, but you'd have to have some specific reason you're banishing your monsters. If you are, this card I see, can see getting play, other than that. Yeah, I'd have to see what the um, rest of the Criston cards are first, see if there's eventually any banish effects in the archetype. Such as Criston Quan. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can special summon one non-tuner monster from your hand, but its effects are negated. And if you do, immediately after this card effect resolves, you can summon one machine synchro monster using only that monster and this card. You can only use the effect once per turn. So during your opponent's turn. Alright, so this card could see play. I have no idea what the synchro monsters are for them, but if there's anything that likes being summoned during your opponent's turn, this could be nuts. So this is a tuner that you just place on the board. You can synchro summon any time during your opponent's turn. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, I like this card a lot. I'd really like to see this card be played. Seems like fun. Just synchro summoning during your opponent's turn, right? Using this and just anything in your hand. So as long as this is your, t your turn one to play, you could just play this monster past the turn. Sounds like fun. Hopefully SSA will be playable again. And to give Subterra stomp them. I hope that I hope it's playable again since its time in the like shine wasn't that long. It's always been an alright card, I guess. Like an alright um Sea Salt Sack's always been pretty popular, it just hasn't been only been tier one for a little bit of time. Alright. Um I'm pretty sure this, this is already in Jewel Links, right? I think I've seen it before. Alright, on to the rares. So that's already in Jewel Links, that's already in Jewel Links, already in Jewel Links. Uh, Whitefish Salvage. You can target one fish monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of White Salvage once per turn. If this card is in your possession, it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect into the graveyard, time when fish some monster in deck. Alright, so I don't think you'll use this at all. By the looks of things, a lot of fish monsters like being sent to the graveyard and can be special summoned from there already, so I don't think you'll ever use this. Call of the Atlanteans. Target 3 level 3 or lower, lower sea, serpent, blah blah blah. Yeah, monsters in your graveyard. Special summon all 3 of them. You cannot special summon any other monsters during the turn you activate this effect. <laughs> Interesting. Again, another reason you wouldn't want to run this card. So you just want to get some level 3s in there, get them all out, and there's a synchro summon, I guess. Seems pretty bad because it's a um, it's not an up 2 card. You have to have 3 level 3s, so you have to have all 3 of your board spots open to use it. It is a quick play though, so there's that. It's pretty hard to get 3 in your graveyard just to use this card. I think that's pretty bad. Code A Ancient Ruins. Each time face up alien monster is destroyed, place one A counter on this card. Once per turn, you can move two encounters from anywhere on the field to special summon one alien monster from your graveyard.
Nah, I don't think people will use that. I don't think we really need res effects on aliens. The aliens are already just going to be strong by themselves, you don't need res effects for them. I don't think. I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem good. Alright, Mystery Shell Dragon, so just some random level 4 basic monster. 2000 attack, oh, so that's why it's in it. God, poor. <laughs> poor battle locks and whatever else we used to get. All been power crept out of existence. What is going on in the chat? I have no idea what you people are saying. Is that a JoJo reference? Uh. Alright. You do you, chat. You do you. Jack Wyvern. You can banish this card and one face up machine monster you control. Then target one dark monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use the effect of Jack Wyvern once per turn. Interesting, so if you get some powerful dark monster in your graveyard, you can use this card to special summon it. I don't know if there's any particular way you want to be doing that, but... I mean... You have to get two monsters out for this thing to work, and at that point when you distribute summon it instead. I guess it just relies on if you have some interesting way to put a dark monster in your graveyard, then this card can be used. I know about that one. So you have a specific way to put a dark monster in your graveyard, then it has its use. Clear Effector. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, draw one card. A synchro monster that this that used this card as synchro material cannot be destroyed by card effects. I mean, that's not a bad effect. You get a free card draw, and it makes your monster no longer destroyable by card effects. It's immune to like things like treacherous, but generally you just use the treacherous while they're trying to synchro summon anyway, so you would never get to use that. But it also it's a spell caster, so if there's any particular reason, it's also a light monster, and light said light is a pretty deep pool of cards. I mean, it's not a horrible card. Not sure it'll be played, but it's not a horrible card. All right, Blizzard Thunderbird. You can discard one card, special summon two water winged beast monsters, one from your hand and one from your graveyard. So again, you have to have one in your graveyard for this. Interesting. Then return this card from the field to the hand. So winged beast monsters. And have to have one in the graveyard. And one in hand. That's very specific. <laughs> I don't like the look of it so far, but maybe there's some reason you want to be using it. Once per turn you can ban it, oh sorry, uh, Ari, Ari Roka? I have no idea how to say that card name. Once per turn you can banish one fish, sea serpent or aquatype monster from your hand, then target one face up card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Then banish this card until your next standby phase. Alright, so it's a banish effect, so that card that we saw earlier that liked using banished sea, sea monster things can be used. This card seems pretty bad though. It banishes itself and a sea serpent thing you control. Oh, so it banishes itself and a sea serpent from your hand to remove one card your opponent controls. Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, maybe it's better that it banishes itself though, so it protects itself, but I don't know, it seems pretty bad. I think it's kind of slow. Yeah, it seems pretty bad. I don't know. Alright, Sage of Silence. If this card destroys an opponent's once by battle, your opponent cannot activate spell cards during the during the next turn. <laughs> okay. But the thing is you have to get this to destroy an opponent's monster by battle and it's got 1,400 attack, so... Next. At what level was that? Four, okay. Oh, so this is another Majestic card. Majestic Mech. Oh, okay. 
You can normal summon this card without tributing. If you do, destroy, join send it to the graveyard. Okay, next. That is a load of rubbish. Aqua Spirit. This card cannot be normal summoned to set. This card can only be special summoned by removing from play one water monster in your graveyard. During each of your opponent's standby phases, you can change the battle position of one of your opponent's face up monsters. Once changed, the monster must remain in that position for the rest of the turn. I mean, it's a free special summon. Could be played. It's but I think it would only be played in decks that just want a synchro summon anyway. It's just an extra way to special summon a monster. Probably not gonna get played though. There's definitely better monsters you can use to special summon over this card. But it is a free special summoning card for maybe some free to play players. Mother Grizzly. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one more monster with 1,500 attack from your deck. Wait, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one war monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck. Oh, so this card, this card seems fantastic. If there's a water monster that has 1,000 or 500 or less attack, but has some kind of absurd, absurd effect, this could be pretty good. It does summon an attack position though, so you can't abuse it for um, like high le high defense monsters or something. But this card could be really good. It's also a pretty good searcher. But it's just only when destroyed by battle, so maybe not. But to see for this card, there may be some pretty good way you can abuse this effect, because it is pretty like. The restrictions on the special summon aren't really that high, because a lot of cards with 1,500 or less attack that are pretty useful, even high level cards, so I don't know, could be useful. Yeah, Mother, Mother Grizzly is good, seems pretty good, it floats itself. We get this but not Mystic Tornado, it can special summon itself, oh okay that's pretty cool, so it can special summon itself, oh so if your opponent kills it once. So they have two monsters on board, you can summon itself again, then they kill it again, and then you can summon your boss, or whatever big card you need, or whatever monster. Yeah, it seems pretty good. <laughs> Alright, Fishburg Launcher. If you have monsters, if you have a monster in your graveyard other than Fishburg Launcher, and all, the, and all of them are water monsters, you can summon this card from your graveyard. Oh, so this has to be in the graveyard, okay. If you do, banish it when it leaves the field. This card can be used, cannot be used as synchro material monsters except for the synchro someone a water monster. Also, oh, it's a tuner. Okay, so it's a free special summon if you already have a fish in your graveyard or a water monster. Again, could get play, I don't know. There's so many different tuners and fish monsters in this box that I have absolutely no clue which ones are going to get played and which ones aren't. Because again, this effect isn't bad, but it does require something to be in the graveyard, so maybe there's a better card you can use over this. Plus, it's a, it's a level 1 tuner, so unless maybe you need a specifically a level 1 tuner, I don't know. I'd have to wait to get through the synchros, which are coming up. I don't know. Hard, hard to evaluate a card like this. Could be good, could be bad. I don't know. Nimble Sunfish. When this card is destroyed, battle and sent to the graveyard. Send one fish type monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can special summon one nimble fish from your deck. So this is a way just to get more in your graveyard, right? And it special summons itself. So I guess this works with cards like this, right? Uh, that's not really a good combo because that's a level two and that's a level level one. So it's a pretty shit synchro. But then again, you just wait till your next turn, right? You just set this. Your opponent kills it. You just better summon this with a fish. That's level three, and then you just have to get level four out. And you get a seven. Could be useful. I don't really like cards that have to rely on being destroyed by battle. Though I prefer to have things that 
special summon themselves from hand during your turn, so you can get your synchros off. Seems very, very slow, and like weak to things like Kawaki and whatever. Gem Armadillo, so another gem card. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one gem knight monster from your deck to your hand. And that's just an easy searcher for a gem knight card. Which I don't think they need, they just need cards in their graveyard. I don't think you really need a searcher for gem knights. I don't think they really need that though, that, sort, that searcher. This box has a lot of re-releases, that's true, it certainly does. But to be fair though, I do kind of like when they add them. I like the idea of adding some re-releases, because people did miss a lot of the old boxes. If only it was a grass searcher, please no. That's the fastest way you can get grasses green in a band. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard... Oh sorry, pun Punny Penguin. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, after being flipped face up, target one penguin monster in your graveyard except Punny Penguin, special summon that target in face up attack position or face down defense position. So another penguin support card? Seems almost worse than the normal ones, so I don't know the use of that one so far. Yeah, I don't sure about that one. Alright. Oh, so this, this is the big boss monster that's summoned from this guy, I think. You can tribute three level three or lower water monsters, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. Alright. When you do, return all, all spell and trap cards on the field to the hand, if you do. If three or more cards are returned to the hand by this effect, or monster control. Okay, so this card... Very interesting. So you have to get you either have to get three on the board to use this effect, or you can summon it with this, but it doesn't use this effect. But it does get the uh, then all your mon your opponent's monsters lose three hundred attack purely because it was used with this, but it doesn't return the spells. So this card by itself does have a pretty powerful effect, but it's got a hard summoning condition. I don't know, it seems like a pretty like meme deck you can build with it. It seems very hard to kind of pull off though. Three water monsters. Three or lower. Level three or lower water monsters. I don't know. I guess with all the support they've currently got, maybe that's not too hard. There's probably better boss monsters than this, right? I don't know. It's effective putting spell and trap cards though is a pretty useful one. It'd be nice if it was destroy and not return to hand. Especially for how hard it is to a summon. You sound so different. That's because I'm in a different house currently. So, also my mic's in like a weird spot. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably why I sound different, bud. Does Armadillo search spells? Don't think so. No, it's only monsters. Alright, next. Another Ice Barrier card. Prior of the Ice Barrier. If you control a face-up Ice Barrier monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You cannot special summon any level 5 or higher monster to turn you use this effect. You can tribute this card to target one Ice Barrier monster in your graveyard, except prior to the Ice Barrier, special summon that target. Wait. You cannot special summon any level 5 or higher monster to turn you use this effect. You can tribute this card to target one Ice Barrier monster in your graveyard, except prior to special summon that target. So this seems pretty bad, because you can't use it on the turn you summon it. So it only brings out a level 4 monster, right? I don't think you'll use that then. Well, most of the Ice Barrier cards are high level, right? No, that seems real bad. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. That seems real bad, though. Hypersynchron. If this card is sent to the graveyard for the synchro summon of a dragon type monster, that monster gains 800 attack. Also, banish that face up monster during the end phase. What? If this card is. If this card is sent to the graveyard for the synchro summon of a dragon type monster, that monster gains 800 attack. Also, banish 
the face up monster during the end phase. Why exactly are you banishing your monster? Okay, am I missing something here? Why the fuck would you ever use this card? Why are you banishing the monster you just synchro summoned? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one. I don't know why you'd want to banish your monster. It's not like everything's a metaphysic. Seems real weird. Moon and Sun Dragon? Maybe something that wants to be banished? Angel of Zera? I guess. Alright. Zero Force, maybe? Angel Zera, okay. I forgot about Angel Zera, that's true. Zero Force, have you seen the anime? Nope. It's only Dragon. Oh, okay, never mind. There's a... Never mind. Angel Zera is in Dragon, oops. Okay. So people tell me Zero Force, whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here, back to the, back onto the toad cards. Cannot be used as a synchro material. Ah, oh? this card becomes death frog while it is on the field. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one frog monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card. I have no idea what these fucking frogs are. I have no idea what the fuck the point of these frogs are. Really hard to evaluate frogs until I know what the hell they're meant to be used for. Because why the fuck do you want to summon this card? Is there a reason for it? It's got a lot of defense for a level 2 monster. They can't synchro something with it, so I guess it's like... A free tribute for something? I don't- I have no idea. Alright, here's another frog boy. Holy shit, is that frog doing a backflip? God damn. Once per turn, you can flip this card into face down defense position. When this card is flipped face up, you can return monsters your opponent controls to their owner's hand up to the number of face up frog monsters you control. Alright, so the first actual useful frog card that actually makes sense with things like this. Just return some shit your opponent controls to hand. But then you're just gonna have a 500 attack monster that doesn't really do much. But it is actually a useful effect if frogs are actually useful cards. I have no idea if there are yet, because they seem really odd. They swarm. Oh, it's non target. Oh, yeah, it is non target. Nice. Some terror frogs. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> Leave frogs alone. Alright, I'll stop bullying the frogs. I'll stop harassing them. Some terror support. Alright, alright. Alien dog. That's pretty gross looking, honestly. That is not a cute pupa. When you normal summon an alien monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, place two A counters on face up monsters your opponent controls. Not a horrible effect, honestly, since it's just a free special summon if you literally have an alien monster. So you just play this in an alien deck, free A counters. It's actually a good chance this might see play. It's not a horrible card. He's run a bunch of alien cards. It's a free special summon of a 1,500 attack monster. Which 1,500 attack is quite a lot when there's two A counters on monsters your opponent has. Yeah, might actually see play. It's not a bad card. Depends on what we, if we really need the A counters for stuff. Which I assume we will in aliens, but yeah, it seems pretty good. Alright, here's another Christon, it's Christron Rose Nyx. So some random Phoenix looking card. You can target one face up card you control. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except machine type synchro monsters. Also destroy that card. And if you do, special summon one crystal monster from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one crystal token, but it cannot be tributed. Okay. I'm going to see these cards in action, there's too many walls of text for me. 
Seems to have the same similar effect to one of the other Crystons earlier, where you're destroying one of your own cards. Get out a free tuner with this, and then you get a free token with it. Right? Also, you banish it from the graveyard to summon a token. But it's only level 1. Do you really need that effect? Do you really need a level 1? I don't know, man. I think I have to wait till I actually see this kind of stuff in action. They all destroy themselves for a tuner, I think. Oh, so they all have that effect. Okay. I don't know. Really hard to evaluate that. I have no idea, like, how crystals are going to work. Maybe because I haven't gone through their synchrons yet. If they do have synchrons, I assume they do. Also, another another Gem Knight card. Gem Knight Aquamarine. Wait, do we have this already? Maybe, I don't know. I'll go through it anyway. Must first be fusion someone with the above fusion material monsters. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, take one card you're printing controls, return the target to hand. I think Gem Knight's just OTK at this point, so you never really use this. It's just going to be there. Alright, here's the first Criston Synchro. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can change all face up special summon monsters your opponent controls to defense position. Not a bad effect for a level 5. If this Synchro Summoned card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one Crystal monster in your graveyard except Synchro Monster Special Summon it. Honestly, not a horrible effect for a level 5. Could definitely see play in a, in a um, Criston deck. It's actually just a generic level 5 in general. It doesn't it literally doesn't need any um particular monsters for its synchro summon. It just needs a one tune and one or more non tune monsters. So might even see play outside of Crystons. It's not a horrible effect. Not bad at all. This is a particular deck that uses level 5 synchros all the time. You could probably just stuff it in there as just kind of a counter to certain decks. Not bad. Oh, so this during your this goes with the card during your opponent's turn. Very good, because a level fucking five, it's perfect, right? Level one with a level four on hand. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, good, good call, Mister uh, Sean. Abuse it with Con and use it during your opponent's turn. That is nuts. All right, that makes this card so much better because there's so many level fours in the game, and that's a level one. It's actually perfect. That's nuts. I like that. Could be good in a row, mages. True. Oh, that makes it so excited. So which one was Quan? Where is it? This one. Oh yeah, that's so cool. I want to. Yeah, well, I definitely will be trying that combo at some point if we go into um crystals. That sounds like fun. All right. Reject reborn. When opponent's monster declares a direct attack, end the battle phase. Oh dear, that's fucking annoying for stall. Then you can spend summon one tuner and one synchro monster from your graveyard, but have their effects negated. Isn't this going to be a really annoying stall card that people aren't going to use for the synchro summon effect of it? God, that sounds annoying. I guess you'd use Drowning over it though, wouldn't you? You'd prefer Drowning, but if you don't have Drowning, it's just a really annoying card. You can probably just stuff it in a stall deck for the lols though. Give your opponent a fucking lava golem and then just sit on this card. God, that sounds annoying. I don't know, it does mean you have to have no monsters on board though, so you can't just stick like your Amazonas cards down or something. It might just be an annoying stall card, we'll see. It's pretty weak to Cyclone though, because it ha it's similar to, um, what's that? It's a, there's a trap card that does pretty much the same thing. It just stops your opponent doing damage to you during the battle phase, but it has to be activated during the battle phase, so it'd be very similar to this card. Not very, and that doesn't get C play installed, so it'd be very similar to that, so it may not get used at all. I don't think it's going to be used for its main effect though. Yeah, it's actually very similar to that trap card. There's no way we'll actually get play install because no one runs that install already. 
forgot what it's called. It used to be used to gladiator beasts all the time. There was some trap card. I don't know. Very similar effect. Anyway. Abyss Sphere. Special summon one Mermaid monster from your deck. Its effects are negated. You cannot activate any spell cards when this card leaves the field. Destroy that monster. Destroy... Oh, so this is really good because if you have a really big Mermel monster, like a 2800 attack one or whatever the big Mermel Moss monsters have, you can just special summon it. Will this get play? I have no clue. Very interesting card. You can just get a free special summon of some big ass monster. It can even be used for cool synchro summons, right? Very good chance this card gets play. But then again, Mermails are generally used for like insane synchros on their first turn, so you won't really need this card. If anything, it might be more of a brick for if you want to run cards that are like turboing out a synchro monster on turn one. This card will just be annoying. But I guess if you're going first and you don't want to have a synchro monster out, you can just use this card. There's a good chance it will get play, but there's also like... I think it's more likely not to get play than it is to get play, because I think people prefer to just synchro summon on their first turn and run all the more turbo kind of play style rather than running this card which is kind of slow, I guess. I don't know. It's a free special summon from deck, so it's, it's a good card, but I'm not sure if people will use this over using just generic Mermel monsters to try and get out a synchro. It depends on how like consistent Mermails are on their first turn. If they're already like super consistent, you won't need the special summon from deck, because you just special summon from your extra deck. Impenetrable attack, yeah that's what I was talking about. Thank you, uh, Steven. Right, next. Oh, here we go. Nightmare Penguin. Oh shit, a scary boy. All face up, one monster control, gain 200 attack. When this card flick, when this card is flipped face up, type one card your opponent. Type one card your opponent controls to turn that target to hand. Okay, so this penguin's meant to be used with the other penguin, so it becomes a banish effect. No, you're not using this fucking card. There's, no one is using penguins. Okay, it's not happening. <laughs> don't don't even think about it, chat. If it didn't have the spell restriction, it would be good. You could double cyclone it and destroy the other SR Mermail and get an awesome summon. Oh, okay, okay. Mermail Abyss Lin Linde or some shit. If this card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can spare summon one Mermail monster from your deck, except Mermail. You can only use your fates once per turn. Okay, I don't think you're going to be using this one. Why is this one the SR over the other stuff? I guess the Ultra is probably better. Again, this is, falls into the same category as this, right? It's, it's super useful. You can just like, you can use it similar to the way that um, Blue Eyes uses their little blue thing, right? They're not that blue thing. But the way Blue Eyes uses their little stone, right? You can just set this, your opponent destroys it. Free Mermail special summon. I guess it really depends on if I'm Mermail want to use... This extra deck or if they want to use their own boss monsters. That's a pretty cool effect, you just set this card and use it like stone, same way. Is the Mermel Fuma. It's used with the trap. Okay. It's just a free searcher from the trap. Okay, I see. Kind of an interesting combo though. I still don't think you'd use the trap, I think you're just going to use the card by itself. I don't know, the trap seems not, doesn't seem that good. Yeah, 
Yeah, stone is a better card. I mean, the trap does get destroyed during um, your opponent's next end phase, so it's not... It does guarantee that it'll get destroyed eventually. Seems super slow though, I don't know. This card may see play, I don't think people are going to be using this, but this will... This this may get play. Again, like I said, it just depends on if Mermail is a, like a turbo deck as opposed to some slow kind of bullshit. Which I, th I presume they're going to be more of a turbo kind of thing. Something that like gets out their boss monster on turn 1 with a Z-Cell attack set, or something like that, I don't know. Alright. Criston Smidger. You can target one face up card you control. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except machine type synchro monsters. Also destroy that card. Oh, so again, this is one of these weird. weird boys. You need to special summon the chain, okay. You can banish this card from your graveyard and one Criston spell, spell trap card from your deck to your hand. So this card can be useful with Neos, I guess. Send it to the graveyard and it's a free searcher. Okay. Useful with Neos. I don't know how else it'll be useful though. Might be alright. Criston, blah blah blah. Alright, so same as the other one. Can special summon a tuna. Alright, never mind. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can tug one non tuna monster in your graveyard and special summon it. But it has its effects negated, and if you do immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one machine synchro monster using only that monster and this card. These synchro materials are not banished, so it's very similar to the other card we had earlier. Interesting, so if we get a cut, so very similar to the cards we had earlier. So we just have to get a card in our graveyard and then get a free synchro summon during the battle phase, which could be cool as fuck. God, I, love, I actually would love to see these cards in action. I don't know if they'll be any good, but they certainly seem fun. I love the whole idea of synchro summoning during your opponent's battle phase. Sounds so much fun. And it's level 2 as opposed to level 1, so you can get out the um, level 6s pretty easily. Oh uh, yeah, also very good with Neos, obviously. Off of a million, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a good use for the million, okay. Cool. Alright. Dragon of Re Oh, I've already got that card in Jewel Links. White Aura or Dolphin. So I heard a bit of hype for this card for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I heard some hype for it. So it's a generic level 6 synchro. Once per turn you can target one face of monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes half its original attack until the end of this turn. If this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, by battle or by card effect, then since the graveyard, you can banish one other water monster from your graveyard, special summon this card, and if you do, it is treated as a tuner. So I'm not sure why you'd want it as a tuner, since you probably just want this card on the board, but I guess it could be useful. Interesting cards, it's just like a card that just keeps resing itself as long as there's waters in your graveyard, which by the looks of things, there's going to be a lot of water monsters in the graveyard. By the looks of how the rest of this box has been going, a lot of these cards just like having water monsters in the graveyard. Interesting. It's because if this card just sits on the board, it can just keep making your opponent's monsters half their attack and just beating itself into them. I like it. Pretty cool card, actually. Pretty cool effect. As long as there's a as long as there's a water in your grave, you can always summon summon it. The normal Sino card is good for power tool turbo. When we get life stream dragon, and the hype card means we might get shooting core dragon. Aquasa, okay. Psychic like wielder support. Oh, true. It's level six actually. True. Easy access for Villain with level 6 Trainer. True. Is 
the Excel Synchro Big Synchro Monsters require Synchro Tuners. They'll add them later, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, cool card anyway. May not see play if people are running things like C Stealth Attack since it doesn't need its main effect. C Stealth Attack basically protects it anyway, but it's a pretty good card. I don't know. Oh, no, I did see this card. This card seemed pretty good. Like, this card seemed very good. Once per turn, you can discard up to two cards to the graveyard to target the same number of cards your opponent controls to destroy them. So I believe there's mermails that like to be discarded, right? Or like to be sent to the graveyard? So you use this with those mermails, discard them, free banish, and it's once per turn, so it just keeps doing it. This seems like this card, I, I can't see it not being played in every single water deck. You just stick it in there anyway, regardless. Seems so good. Seems so good. Yeah, this card seems super good. I'd love to see, I'd love to play with this card. Love to get to play with it. All right, next. Like it's not even a hard card to summon just because it's water. Anyway, Cosmic Fortress Gulgar. Once per turn, you can select any number of face numbers or trap cards. Return those cards to their owners' hands and distribute new eight counters among monsters on the field equal to the number of cards returned. Once per turn, you can move two eight counters from anywhere on the field to destroy one card your opponent controls. All right, so it's mainly used for its secondary effect, I guess. Is there any, maybe there's some continuous spells that you use or something that you want to replay. Since generally, face arts blur trap cards isn't a very useful effect unless you want to return your own to hand. I don't know. But a secondary effect seems pretty useful, just a free removal. Wait, how's it summoned? Am I retarded? Oh, so alien ammonites. So it needs a very specific alien monster. That makes it pretty that makes it a lot worse. Oh, see so second effect is non-target. Okay, cool, 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 true. Oh the ultra rare trainer, okay, so we'll get onto that one. So that's pretty good, non-target, I don't know. Seems pretty hard to pull off though, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, scrap art trains. Why is this an SR? Just because it's a generic 2700 attack monster. So this will replace all the decks that we're trying to use. No, actually it won't, because Guy is level 6, right? I think Guy was level 7. Or is he? I don't know. I don't know about that one. I guess it's a scrap card, so maybe scraps like using it. Like I said earlier, I have no experience with scraps because I don't really care too much for the archetypes. I never looked into them. All right, reprint of this, which is pretty cool. I like Night Beam as a card. All right, Deep Sea Diva. When this card is normal summoned, you can spare someone one level three or lower sea serpent type monsters from your deck. All right, currently, absolutely disgustingly good card. This one. This is a free Armides, whenever you want it. Holy shit, this is a nuts card. Like, what the fuck? What, what, what C decks would not run this card? It's nuts, right? This card has got to be good. And it probably combos with a lot of shit too. There's got to be a bunch of Sea Serpents that like to be special summoned, right? Oh, it's so nuts. It's levels. I don't know, man. This card seems very good. They added a limited card. Also, it's limited. Holy shit, this card seems so good.
God, I wish I could see, like, I wish there was, like, a search feature for this. So I could just see what... What low-level sea serpent-type monsters I can summon from just this box. Cause these are probably the ones you're going to be using, right? I don't know, man. There's going to be some weird sea serpents you can summon. It's got to be something good. Oh, it's, yeah, that's right. It's super good with whale, right? Because it just gives you the three, the three, two monsters for whale. Know that a gear genesis. Alright, so I'll have a look at the um, I'll have a look at some of the sea serpents from that I've currently got in game after the, I've gone through the cards. Because I'm really curious as to what cards are good for this. Seems so good. Alright, we'll stop um, orgasming over this card and move on to the next one. Mermail Abystius. You can discard one other water monster in your two monsters of the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, add one level 4 lower mermail monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the fate to mermail once per turn. Also, an easy special summon of a level 7 monster. And it's a free searcher for a mermail monster? Interesting. Could be useful actually. Could really be useful. Because like I said, a lot of mermails like to be sent to the graveyard. Gets free free shit in the graveyard, a free searcher. For a big boss boy that's just fr free special summon. I don't know. Could be pretty good. I'd love to see um I'd love to see this card, I think. I don't think this is enjoy so lady. I do kinda recognise the name, but it does seem does seem alright. Free searcher. Alright, next. Mecha Phantom. Oh my god, I don't. Alright, not gonna lie, I hate the idea of Mecha Phantom Beast. They seem like a super stally archetype. I really just hate the cards, so I just kind of always have ignored them. So, whatever this does, I'm not gonna go through it very much. Just for pure bias, I just don't like Mecha Phantom Beast at all. You banish this card from your graveyard. Immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one Mecha Phantom Beast monster from your hand while you control a token. This card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Mecha Phantom Beast token. You cannot use... Alright, so it's a free searcher thing for a Mecha Phantom Beast, and I don't care about it. Next. <laughs> oh, so this is the um, Am Ammonite cards. This is the one for Cosmic Fortress, right? Okay. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level four or lower any monster from your graveyard. Oh, so that's a really easy synchro summon. I see. So if there's an alien in your graveyard, that's just a free summon. Okay, so that's pretty that's actually a pretty cool effect. Yeah, this will definitely be in most in like all alien decks, because there's no real reason not to run it. That's just Cause doesn't um no, there's not alien card. Alien cards don't send something to the graveyard, do they? They don't send a monster to the graveyard. It's super good, like he's like fucking Neos or something. Does that mean aliens are gonna start running fucking Neos? Or is that neat? Hmm, I don't know about that one. Interesting. Also, oh, the spell does put them in the graveyard. Uh, okay, 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 that's nuts. I forgot the spell was a searcher. I always remember with the spell just putting the tokens down. Of course it's a searcher. Alright, that's nuts then, that's a free synchro. Use the spell, put this boy down. Get out this, this cool looking card. That's, that's pretty nice, I like that. Alright. Excited for aliens, that'll be fun. Not as excited as I am for this boy, but aliens, that'll be pretty fun. Also, the card art looks pretty nuts. Anyway, next card. Christian Solfern Fear thing. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can discard one Christian card except Christian Solfern. Special summon this card in defense position, then destroy, well, destroy one card on the field. Wait, destroy one card you control. Okay. 
If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effects, you can spell someone one Christian monster from your deck in defense position. Uh interesting. So I think the aim of this card is you summon it, then use your other Christian cards to destroy it, right? Because then it gets a free summon of another Christian monster. So then it gets the one monster, the tuner out, and the monster that comes from this. So this is the monster you want to summon that will be destroyed by your Christian monsters to summon a tuner, right? So you get three monsters for a synchro summon. I think that's what this card's used for, right? Oh, it can destroy itself? Oh, <laughs> it's okay, that's interesting. So it's just a free searcher as well. Oh, so it's just a free searcher, okay. Oh god, that's so weird. There's a special summon it to destroy itself to search for something, right? All waiting cards are rare or normal. They don't even use the SR trap. Synchros is SR, so makes sense for Ultra Rare Tuna. Is that is that true for this box as well? It's the, the only alien is um the only Ultra Alien is that. Oh, so that's literally the only. So the only expensive thing for aliens is that, right? So aliens are still pretty free to play. Was there any other aliens in this box that we actually cared about? I don't remember. I don't think there was. I think there was only really that. I don't really remember the alien cards we went through. Anyways, let's finish the box. Okay, let's get through it all. Because we noticed the exciting cards coming up. Or well, the card that has been hyped for a long while. Anyway. So another Christian Synchron. Two or more tuners, one, plus one non-tuner monster. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target Monsters you your opponent controls enter in the graveyard up to the number of synchro materials used for this synchro summon of uh, Banish them if the synchro summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect you can target one banished monster except This card special summon it to your field So this includes your ban your opponent's banished stuff That's a pretty cool effect Wait, it doesn't even need to be a Christian to summon it, right? But it does require two tuners, so it's kind of like weird if it's not in Christian. Or Christron. Why should we pronounce it correctly before the chat gets triggered? It is generic though, so maybe. It's a pretty cool effect, and it's a pretty powerful boss monster. Yeah, I like that. It's a pretty powerful boss monster, but it's two tuners, so it's a bit weird. Good effect, but hard to summon. Yeah, it might, it might fit into one um, like a wielder deck. That's true, because wielders are really easy to get out two tuners for. Even with like Cockadoodle Doo and shit. Is that the first times two tuner and synchro and jawlings? I think so. Um, we can play scrap recycler in Christian Christians. That's really good. I don't know if you know what that does. I have no clue. I don't look at scrap. I haven't looked at any scraps. So you can banish up to three three things. Is it spe specifically monsters? So it is specifically monsters. Banishes three monsters, and when it's destroyed, it gets one of those monsters back. That's pretty good. It's really cool. It's generic, but I'm not sure it will be used in other decks purely because it is two tuners. I'm pretty sure it would only be used in like wielders, in a wielder kind of style deck. This is a really sick card, though. This would be pretty easy to summon in a wielder deck, because you just summon the wielder, something like Cockadoodle do, and you just set. Alright. 
Cyber Dragon. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. 2100 attack monster. Pretty sure it's too late for the Cyber Dragon stuff to come out. I think it's probably too late for these cards to be, uh. to be like. decent. Maybe we're just missing some of the Cyber Dragon stuff. But it's certainly like. it's a hyped deck, so we'll see. I know this card was used a lot in the TCG, I think, a long time ago. I'm not sure if it's used anymore. But. It is just a free special summon, I guess, since your opponent generally will control a monster. Free 2100 attack monster that can then just be used with other Cyber Dragon kind of style cards for their effects. I know they may be a bit too late for uh, Cyber Dragon to be actually broken. <laughs> we'll see though. It's, I'm glad it's finally arrived. That That's it, really. The tricky is better. Yeah, Tricky is certainly better, because it doesn't require your opponent to have a card, so you actually use it on turn one. But then again, the Tricky doesn't actually use, like, Cyber Dragon cards, whereas Cyber Dragon actually has its own art type built around it. Maybe they'll make a Cyber Dragon EX structure deck for Cyber Dragon support. That's something I think they very, very good chance they'll do, due to how much hype was around this card. Make people buy this box, and although it'd be kind of, it would be super odd if they did that, because they're releasing this as an ultra rare, then to just give it to us in a structure box would be super odd. They can't really give us a Cyber Dragon structure deck without Cyber Dragon in it, because that would be silly, right? So maybe they won't do that. Yeah, let's go for the boss monster that comes with it. Cyber Twin Dragon requires two Cyber Dragons. A choosing some of this card can be done with the above fusion monsters. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. So it's just a 2,800 attack monster that can attack twice, but requires two Cyber Dragons to summon it. So I don't know, maybe. Very, very hard to, I don't think Cyber Dragons will be that good, especially considering like the power level of some of these fucking cards. I don't know. All right, so before we end the stream, let's have a look at some of the, I just wanna have a look at what Sea Serpents, or uh, switch back to, uh, we'll switch back to Jewel Link screen now. Let me just work out how to actually do that. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there we go. All right, so, close this, maximize this, all right. So we're looking for Sea Serpents, right? Level 3 or lower Sea Serpents. What have we currently got in the game? I don't remember what was in the box, but... Why did I just grab something I already had 3 of? You know, never mind, it's fine. Uh, I don't really want to show you this deck, because it's what I want to use tomorrow for a thing. Alright. So, okay, stop, stop clicking that, there we go. All right, so Sea Serpent. So it's level three or lower, right? Oh, there's a lot of things actually. When this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a water monster's effect. Okay, so that these effects won't go off, right? So not particularly useful for these. Hmm, maybe there's not many particularly useful ones other than just a free synchro summon. Maybe there was a sea serpent in the box that's mainly aiming at. Yeah, I think like there's probably not any reasons actually. I mean, you can summon it. Oh shit, my microphone. Okay. 
Alright, so there's not any actual, like, useful sea serpents that we currently have that would be useful with it. Maybe there were some in the box that were particularly aimed for it. It's a really easy get summon of a um, sea style attack, though, of the big thing. Lumus Hangman. Oh wait, the new card. You mean this boy? This card's actually super exciting. I can guarantee you there's going to be videos on this card, and I'm pretty sure I have an idea and I'll have one out tomorrow for it. This card is super fun. Really excited to use it. Again, K, I explained to you the other day why I don't have music in the background of my streams. It's not like Twitch, buddy. <laughs> Even uncopyrighted music I'll still get copyright claimed for. YouTube is not a nice place, people just copyright strike you for having any kind of music in your video. So there is no music being played ever on my stream. Ever. That's why I had um, the Jewel Links in the background, so you have the Jewel Links music in the background for a little bit of noise. That was it. Oh, look at... Scrap Recycler. Okay. <laughs> Trying to type with one hand. Oh, there you go. Did I spell it wrong? Yes, that's not how you spell Recycler. Holy shit, get that off my screen now. Yikes. I said this one. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one machine type monster from your hand deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can shuffle two level four Earth Monster type from the graveyard. Draw a card. Oh, so it just sends those on Machine Boys to the graveyard, like being in the graveyard. Right? And the ones that like you... Oh yes, the one that you could send to the graveyard to can search for something, right? They were looking at for Neos earlier, you can just use with Recycler instead. Okay. I only have one of it. I don't know how you obtain it. Probably didn't go deep into whatever box it was from. Oh, never mind. It's just be romper for it. Okay. Not bad. Sea Serpent gets their effects when used for Gunny Synchro, I think. Does it? That's Gunny Synchro. Is that in the box? Whoa, why did my chat just disappear for a second? There we go. Uh, Gugnia. That's probably something in the box, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Never mind. Let's re bring out the box again for a second. Put some closing thoughts on it, I guess. Now let me just reopen the box again. Window capture, that one. Why the fuck is it so small? The hell? Is that it? Right, there we go. Is the new box worth it? I think it'll be. I think it'll probably be meta defining. Way too much water support for water for a water deck not to come out. Cause you can literally run like so many of these cards together. Closing thoughts, exactly. Spin gems on the new box worth it? I think so. I think what I'll be doing is I'll be going to build God, I wanna use this card so bad. seems super expensive though trying to build cards from this box because you need like I guess you don't really need this mermail so the only cards you like desperately need is you need if you want to play aliens you need this so you can probably if you're if you're super free to play I would just reroll after getting this card every time and then you just go for aliens the best card in the box I think will be this card this card seems absolutely disgusting Level 3 Sea Serpents, have we got any? That's a level 5, 4... It's 
still super curious about this card. I want to. I want to know how, like how good it actually is. There's a sea serpent, level 3, but you know, we're going to use it for that. You don't need that Mermel either. This one might be alright though. God, this is actually so good because when this is added from your deck to your hand, so literally, like, all those Mermels that search, they'll just add this to the hand, free special summon. I mean, it is special summoned by the effect of a Mermel monster, which I assume includes itself. You can tie one level three low moments in your graveyard spell or summon that, so it just gets another card back. It's so useful. And I think this box will be pretty nuts. It's, I think it definitely be meta defining. Yeah, Night Beam is also a good card, so if you're running low on things like Cosmic Cyclones and shit, you can just use Night Beam instead. Pretty good card. New Arc Fiend support though. Hey, there's an Arc Fiend card in here, wasn't there? There you go. Boom, Scrap Arc Fiend. There's some Arc Fiend support for you. <laughs> Um, this box seems like real hard to fund though. Oh, shit, it's so much expensive stuff. I don't think my bank account can handle it. I think I'll have to go for mostly the free to play stuff. Maybe I'll try to build a like, reset after getting Deep Sea Diver. I'll completely miss over that card because I don't give a shit. This memo is pretty useful too. I don't really care too much about the Cyber Dragons either. There'll be, like, view fucking hogs, those videos. The penguin decks would be funny as fuck, but I think they're gonna be so bad, there's no point even trying to build one. God, this card's insane as well. Maybe I'll try to build those decks that were using, um, these boys, the Christian stuff. He's, every deck in his expensive, there's no like free to play deck that comes with this box other than like aliens, but even that takes an ultra rare. Which would be a bit annoying. I may have to choose like one deck and try to build towards that at first. I don't know. <laughs> Borrow my mansion? Will do, bud. Alright. Well, we've gone through the whole box. That's enough, boys. I guess we'll end the stream there. Thank you guys for all tuning in. Uh, new video will probably be uh, made tomorrow, I think. Holy shit, my stream is dying. Okay, probably good time to end it then. <laughs> Alright boys, catch you guys later. Here's an advert. See you later and stuff. Yep. Yeah.